The Yukon Delta National Wildlife Refuge encompasses 19 million acres of tundra, rivers, lakes, and wetlands. This vast area in southwest Alaska is where the Yukon and Kuskokwim rivers run into the Bering Sea, forming one of the largest river deltas in the world. Every spring, the refuge becomes a nesting and grazing lawn to millions of migrating birds, including geese, ducks, shorebirds, and other waterfowl. The Pacific black brant is one of the many goose species that returns to the delta every spring to nest and feed on the sedges and grasses that grow abundantly on the tundra. These plants are an important part of the bird's diet, and they prefer to eat them when they are fresh and most nutritious. Timing is everything, and it's important that the arrival of the geese coincides with the green updates. A green update is the date on which the grass creates new biomass in the springtime. But as Earth's climate warms, so does the Yukon Delta, which results in earlier green updates. Ryan Choi is a PhD student from Utah State University, studying the unique relationship between migratory birds and tundra sedge grasses. The focus of my research is to tease apart the complex interactions between uh, warming and grazing. With predicted climate scenarios in the future, we are unsure if birds will be arriving at the same time, if they'll be able to keep up with the earlier green updates, and this sort of is getting at that question. Goslings benefit most from eating a sedge called Carex subspathacea. This young vegetation is highly nutritious and helps the goslings put on weight and grow feathers as they develop into adults and fly south for the winter. Not only do the geese benefit from grazing on this sedge, they also have a pretty dramatic effect on the landscape. As a result of grazing, the geese are keeping the sedge short and this produces more nutritious growth, especially for goslings. All the goose poop. You can tell it's an area that they like to spend a lot of time in eating and pooping in. <laughs> Lindsay Carlson is a graduate student who is working with Choi on the Yukon Delta study. So there are four ways that geese change the landscape. The first one would be nest making. They come here to make their nests on the tundra, so they pull up that dead vegetation and use it to make their little bowl-shaped nests where they pluck their down and put it into their nest. The second way that they change it is by trampling it. They're walking around and pushing organic matter into the soil, walking on the mud flats, and that trampling, just the weight of them walking on it really has the ability to push things down further into the soil. And the third thing they do is grazing. So they're grazing off the tops of the vegetation and eating it and mowing it down a little shorter than it was. And then all that vegetation has to go somewhere. So the fourth thing that they do is pooping. And they poop out that vegetation and most of the nutrients that were in it originally and put it back into the soil in a way that's easier to break down and trample it in there so all of the, those nutrients that they pooped out can go back into the soil faster. Some important questions have arisen when considering these observations in the face of climate change. What will happen if the plants that geese eat start growing earlier each year as the climate warms? What will happen if the geese go somewhere else for food? In hopes of answering these questions, Choi and his colleagues are conducting several controlled experiments. We have a manipulative experiment where we're artificially warming the tundra and where we're also controlling when the birds are grazing on the vegetation in our plots. The scientists have a flock of 16 black brant geese which are a part of their study. The geese are put on a grazing schedule and moved from plot to plot so that the effect they have on the grass can be observed and tested. The scientists use plastic cones to artificially warm the plots. This allows them to predict what could happen to several variables in response to different warming and goose arrival scenarios. 
The Goose Project is a five-year study with the goal of finding out how an earlier growing season alters the magnitudes and patterns of carbon and nitrogen cycling in the Yukon Delta. Through this study, scientists hope to learn more about how geese affect the ecology of coastal marshes in western Alaska. Thank you.